this delicious cranberry bread made from the leftover cranberries from my homemade cranberry juice. This recipe calls for just one egg. And then I used all of the zest off of a small orange. The orange I used was a cara cara orange, which I love. Two tablespoons of melted cooled butter. One half cup of milk. This was a half and half skim milk combo, because that's what I had. And these cranberries are leftovers from homemade cranberry juice, which I have attached the recipe below. I've also attached the recipe for the Cosmos that I made with the cranberry juice. Since this round was testing the recipe, I used four cups of regular all-purpose flour, one cup of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder. I only used part of the juice of the orange because I wanted to see how much liquid there was, and I wouldn't really know that until I blended the batter completely, which then I saw it was not liquid enough, so I added the rest of the juice from the rest of the orange. A good spray in your loaf pan, then spread all of your batter evenly in your loaf pan, making sure you get every little bit if you can. A little tap, a little wiggle for any air bubbles. I baked this at 350 degrees, initially for 45 minutes. I did check it at 45, at 50, and then at 55 minutes is when it was actually perfect. And I knew this by taking its temp, anywhere between 200 and 210. After sitting for 10 minutes, then I removed it from the loaf pan, carefully. A little tap, a little wiggle, but this one didn't need any help. It came out beautifully. Then let it cool for an hour. After that, when you slice into it, you're going to love the crust. The crumb is beautiful and you're really going to enjoy.